Baby, you're a miracle, my life. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Uzi Mami back on your screen, your phone, your tab, everything else. So, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So, last week or was it last week or two weeks ago, there was a an Instagram handle I'm going to put on the screen and she was having a promo, like she was having half sales off, like mid-year half year sales off on Focalio items. So if you don't know Focalio, Focalio is like, I don't know if it's Chinese or Italian, but I'll make sure I'll confirm and I'll leave it on the screen or in the description box. So it's a brand that has um, a full range of items. So they have eyeshadows, lipsticks, lip um, stains, so many things, everything. Sha. They have sha, a whole wide range of makeup products and they are very, very affordable. Well, quite affordable. I already did a review of one of their palettes. That is the Ninth Elf palette. Yes, I'm going to leave it somewhere here. So just check the eye here. So I did a review on that. And then they had another palette um, released like some months back. It's the Secret palette, but it's also it's still a nine shadow, eye shadow, nine, nine shadow palette. So I decided to get that during the half year sales. And she was so lucky enough and she gave me a whole of other items so i have mascara lip, two lippies that one is like a lipstick and like a lip pencil and the other one is like a proper lipstick and then another eyeshadow palette and the start of today's show yeah i hope i'm holding it right so without further ado let's get right into this video so this is what the palette looks like it's a green themed palette and it says it's cruelty free really don't know how true that is so when you open it it comes with like this protective layer and the palette has the same art as the packaging so like i said it's like a green themed palette so when you open it most of the shadows you're going to get are all green themed so it comes with nine eyeshadows in total five shimmers and four matte shades um i wouldn't say this is like a particular dupe for any for any eyeshadow that i've seen but maybe the colors might be so it comes with this protective film and a mirror and you guys i'm not even going to lie the mirrors they have on this palette are so clear and in fact it's just amazing it's amazing it's, it's a good something so i'm just going to swatch the matte shades first i really don't believe in swatches because like you're literally pressing the eyeshadow so so this is what they look like and well yeah, I think there's there's some pigments there. It's not Juvia's place, but it sure has some pigments. This is what the shimmer shades look like. I hope you guys can see it. So like the Night Elf palettes, the shimmer shades are like foiled. I believe that's the correct the right terminology. Correct me if I'm wrong. But they are foiled, meaning like they are not loose, they're kind of clumpy, if you get what I mean but yeah that's what the palette looks like and i like the fact that they have like the, the the names of the shades are like um some are food but everything relating to green do you, did i make sense right there but anyway i'll i'll explain like the first one is cool mint we all know mint is like a greenish kind of thing then we have forest green avocado secret garden yeah, my drift yeah so i'm just going to bring you guys a bit closer and we're going to try them out on our high leads and by high leads i mean high leads please thank you thank you very much so we're done with our base and as usual the foundation i used is the black opal foundation in the shade carob 
yeah i think that's the shade i used and i've done my brows using the higa and esther brow made in ebony so now we're going to go into the eyeshadow proper so i think i'm going to be starting with this shade here called enchanted because that's like the darkest shade here and i really like dark creases so i'm tapping it and there's little fallout so that's a plus that's a very good plus then going in with this shade called avocado i'm going to use this to kind of blend out my crease since there's no brown or darker eyeshadow in this palette i'm just going to go into my contour palette and use this shade just to deepen the crease going into the shade galaxy i'm going to put this at the outer corner of my lid and i'm not wetting my brush i just want to see how it picks up on a dry brush and as you can see it doesn't pick up well and i noticed that this is the same thing with the other palette that's the night elf palette so i'm just going to use my fingers and see if that comes off better Going in with the shade Secret Garden, I'm going to put this at the outer corner of my eye. So let me just go and complete the second eye real quick. So now we are back on track, but I still feel like there's something missing. So I think I'm going to take this shade Mojito and just pop it in like the... Just hold on. So you can see the not so inner corner but like the inner third of the eye seems to be a bit lit up and yeah that's what i was going for but that's not the inner corner highlight you guys just calm down calm down for jesus calm down for jesus just calm down so yes i have some wings on <laughs> like i can fly i believe i can fly I'm going to be using the shade called Starlet, this one, and let's just hope it appears in my inner corner. So this is what the mascara looks like. I like the packaging. It has just this mascara, and then you have your Focalio volume lengthening, and then this is what it looks like, Focalio. So this is what the brush looks like this is what the brush looks like guys i'm not using lashes today the mascara has done this work so for my waterline i'm going to be taking a black pencil and just putting this directly inside my waterline then taking the shade called forest green i'm going to use this to smoke out my waterline i'm going to blend it with this enchanted color that we used on our crease I know I said no lashes. I lied. How can I do this look without lashes? Like, are you even listening to yourself? Are you hearing? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Won't you tell me I'm mad or I'm no mouse? But we're just gonna set our face real quick. And the setting spray I'll be using, like, okay, it's not actually a setting spray. The makeup fix I'll be using 
is this one from Kiss Beauty. And since we're going with the whole green theme, So for my lips, I'm going to be taking this classic lipstick and this is the shade Peace and I'm going to use this to line my lips. Two of the products that we have, one is a liquid lipstick. And the shade Indian Peach. This is how much product you get. So I'm just going to show you guys a swatch on my hand. So this is the pencil in Nude Desert and this is the liquid lipstick in Indian Peach, I think. Yes, in Indian Peach. So this has a more pinky undertone than this. This also has a pinky undertone. Or a pink undertone but this is much much <clears throat> this is much much brighter so i don't think i'm going to use that today it smells like chocolate like like chocolate I wasn't liking the initial combination of the green and the nude so I went ahead to use the shade avocado right in the place where I put the nude and I think I like it this way by the way why didn't anybody tell me my highlight was not on like like the lights were still off so the look is complete now it's time for me to give you my final thoughts on this high shadow so the packaging yes they got the packaging right i really like it it's um it's it looks like a quality product it's quite sturdy so if it drops your eyeshadow is safe so yes that's one two the color scheme hmm well I wouldn't say you, you can't use this to create a complete look you can actually use it depending on what you're going for if you're going for like a muted vibe you definitely might not be able to pull this off with just this palette just the same way i had to go in i had to go into another palette to use the brown shadow you might have to pair this palette with something else so like i said it retails for three thousand something three thousand nine dollars 50 thereabout i'll leave the details below but i think for that price point this product is quite amazing the pigment is it's right it's there the pigment is there you can see it on my face so the pigment is there the shimmers however i don't like the fact that you can't even pick it up with the brush even when you wet the brush so it's kind of um a disadvantage or like it's a con not a pro yes so that's my first con the fact that you cannot pick up the items with a brush secondly um, i think i would have loved to see like a neon color in here because if we're going for like an all green scheme i i think there should be a neon color inside so aside those two i love the palette uh something i would use over and over again um yeah it's quite affordable so if you're looking for an affordable option this is this is this is for you this is it and the good thing is they have bigger palettes actually palettes that have like a wide range of colors so you have your nude your colors and everything they have a wide range so you can go and check out um i think her name is mode customers for Kalyo nigeria on instagram i'm going to leave her handle on the screen so please check her out and yeah it's quite affordable so but anyway um i really hope you guys enjoyed this look and because i did and yeah that's it for this video it's just time to do the slow-mo you know the slow-mo has to come like it's compulsory
Yo 